ਜਾਨ ਮਹਿਫਿਲ ਹੀ ਲੁੱਟ ਜਾਏ ਦੇ ਦੇ ਜੋ ਜ਼ੁਬਾਨ ਮੇਰੀ ਜਾਨ ਉਸ ਪੈ ਮਰ ਮਿਟ ਜਾਏ What are you doing to her what back there? The <laughs> <laughs> it does look like he's doing something nefarious naughty, back there. Naughty, very naughty. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. More juicy content. Thanks on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter account. Subscribe if you haven't. And hit the like button because it helps the algorithm. <sighs> Feel better? Yes. Good. And, uh, today we're doing a movie review. Uh, of the film that you all know because you read the title of the video. I would hope so. Uh, unless you can't read. My name is Khan. My name is Khan. Yes. Uh, starring uh, Dupika Batacon. Uh, yep. And uh, Abe Vigoda. And uh, this is actually a, a new cardboard cutout. You can't see it very well because it's no, very large. But I did not know it would be this and large. something you don't know is we have a stagehand back there. My wife is holding that properly for us, aren't you, babe? It's basically a... It's, <laughs> it's basically her favorite threesome. Yep. And... <laughs> I'd watch that threesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, obviously, uh, Bathan just came out. The uh, new uh, uh, Shah Rukh Khan film, his triumphant return after uh, four or five years. Yep. And directed by Siddharth Andra, I believe. Yes, right? director of War. War, and uh, uh, wrote the story as well. Yes. Uh, produced by uh, Aditya Chopra, uh, and uh, composition uh, composer is... Uh, I thought it uh, didn't. I thought it was somebody. No, else. yeah, it doesn't. Oh, no, it does. Uh, Ankit Balhara, Sanchit Balhara, Vishal Dadlani, and Shekhar Ravjiani. And then starring Shah Rukh Khan, Deepika Padukone, and John, John Abraham, Abraham are your uh, and Dimple as well. Yeah, are your three main ones. Uh, and then there's other people in there that we won't get into. Cause yes, spoilers. Yeah, there's some surprises. Um, but it's obviously since this just came out. And uh, everyone in India has already seen it. I mean, I guess technically we probably could right. spoilers, but <laughs> yeah. for the people that just have not, case. we're going to do non-spoilers just because it just came out. And then if we want to get to some spoils, we will uh, get into that uh, and we will tell you before we do. Yeah. But uh, uh, my expectations for this film uh, were basic. I think I've said all along were war and a little bit better i think was probably my my expectation right well i was expecting war and a little bit better i think it partially lived up to that and partially not uh i mean i don't know if it didn't not live up to that i think it was just the the film partially uh i didn't enjoy as much as i enjoyed the other parts of the film agreed and i think we'll, we'll, we'll yeah, get into that we'll get into a little that. bit yeah um but overall i think I, I overall probably enjoyed the film um uh and for, I, I think the menu it gave you in the trailer is just, it's what you got it's the it, yeah you go up to that drive through <laughs> You're gonna get in the bag. Will be what you saw on the menu. I wish they kept a little bit more well, of the uh, the uh, the um, kind of uh, essence of like I'd say the first three fourths of the film towards the back half. Yeah, it's really uh, a tale of two halves, and it, it's as a whole. The analogy I gave for it is: so I don't eat at McDonald's except maybe once or twice a year. Yeah, and when I go, it's because I want the McRibs and I love their fries. But because I know it's not good for me, I don't. I don't enjoy eating McDonald's. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the one or two times a year I go, mm -hmm. I, I I regret it afterwards, but I'm glad I went. <laughs> I, you know, I'm glad I went. I enjoyed myself. Yeah. But I'm reminded of why I only go once or twice a year. That's really how I felt. And it is very much a tale of two halves. I think it's a tale it, of three-fourths, because actually there's parts of the second half that I Yeah, that I, I if really the second enjoy. half were as good as far as the comedy and the flow of the story and some of the things not getting out of hand as far as straining <laughs> credulity, <laughs> yeah. I, if it had stayed like it was in the first half, I probably would have enjoyed it even more Yeah, I don't even know if it's the straining of credulity, because obviously the, uh, it get, it, I mean, it tells you right <laughs> away what kind of film there's this is. There's one thing in the spoilers I want to talk yeah, about. And, and we will. Um, but obviously this film is is one of those films that you go to watch Shah Rukh Khan. Yeah, you go to you watch Topeka and uh, uh, John Abraham as well. Yeah, um, and a whole bunch of other things. Uh, and it's a lot of fan service at, at moments. Yep, um, a lot of blowing things up. A lot of fun. A lot of blowing things up. Trailer. And in the beginning, it even kind of shows you the lack of 
logic per se that you're going to get into yeah. very quickly. Very quickly. With like uh, something John Abraham does without giving anything away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's, like, <laughs> okay. it's like, okay, that's what this is going to be. Yep. Uh, I think where it, it lost me was I think when it just, it, it lost almost all the... Um, Humor, humor, yeah, for That's a while, for a good while. That's the word, and not that this is—I would call it a comedy—but it lost its like charm. Yeah, That's the better word, actually. Uh, yes, it lost it, its it, charm. It, was, it almost became like just a, a bad Mission Impossible film, taking itself way too seriously. Yes, from for what I wanted. Yep, totally um, agree. Um, and, and that's towards the. The I'd say the half. last fourth of yeah. the film yeah. more uh, because there's parts. I wouldn't say it's the full second half because there's there's a part like right after the the interval. At the inter- yeah, that was it was absolutely amazing and I loved it. Uh, and and that that still had like the essence of it. And then it kind of brought it back. And there are post credit scenes as well. Yeah, so hang be, around for those. Not at the very that. very end, but there's two post credit scenes. Um, but yeah, it, it, you'd say that right? It's like yeah, absolutely. It, it almost my biggest gripe is that not that it's like obvious. I knew. Going in, yes. that it was not going to be a film that no. that I was like, uh, oh, logic is it's amazing. There's there's films and there's <laughs> movies and then there's just pure entertainers. This is one of those. It's and just a War pure was the entertainer. Same way, they like uh, this might even had obviously uh, even more outlandish things happen. Oh, it did, yeah, uh, <laughs> for it. But I knew that going in. I was expecting it. Yeah, so, they, they basically, I'm sure some of the production meetings were, okay, what else can we do? Yeah. Not, what else can we say? No. It was, okay, what else can we do? What else can we do? Yeah. And I, what Chao Khan said in an interview, he's like, every 15 minutes, he wanted, like, more action. That's basically yeah. how, how it happened. And well, that's wall-to-wall action. Basically, yeah. to, <laughs> once again, if you were expecting a lot of, like, um, story of, like, uh, they, it kind of goes from plot point to plot point to plot point to plot you expected it. Yeah, and it's kind of spaghetti plot points. Nothing mm. really holds together so much, but it, that's not what this movie's. We knew that going in. That no. would have been a bonus if it had had a really strong yeah. story. Yeah. So and uh, not that it didn't have a. a, a, a I thought parts of the story were, were real enjoyable. Um, oh, they made sense, and there were some nice twists. Yeah, it's just in the last fourth, I think it started taking itself way too seriously, and. It still had all those outlandish things. Yeah, and so that just the fact that it, there wasn't that that charm and humor in like the last fourth, and it was like all this outlandish things happening all over the place and yeah. all that, and I was like, I'm not as interested anymore there, because there, the the charm isn't there. Yeah, there comes a point when I'm eating McDonald's and yeah. I may not be done with the food, and I'm done eating. Mm-hmm. That, and that's what happened to me at tw- the second yeah. half. I was yeah. ready to be done. Yeah, uh, and you know. I, I can deal with that because I enjoyed probably most of the film, and that's probably what I was expecting. The first half for me was the press uh, of the And I really enjoyed the uh, Shah Rukh Khan in terms of like his, in, in a big action film, yeah. being his uber charming self, hysterical self, sarcastic, like especially in the first half, what he was, uh, what they did with his character uh, was really enjoyable. I, I was, I was all on board. I enjoyed the audience's reaction to a lot. Like there was a guy, the guy next, next to us. There was a guy was next to me that was every, losing his mind. Every moment he was the guy that cheering and, and the first and one he knew cheering. the words to the songs. He knew the words to the songs. <laughs> like any plot point that happened, that <laughs> it was like, it was the most obvious thing coming. He was also like, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> And so he was really into it. So that was really enjoyable for me. Yeah. Uh, and to and that's why I wanted to go to a, a showing that was a little bit later, but it had much more of the audience because it, that I knew that that was this style of film. And it did, but I also for the amount of people that were in there because it was it was they were late, <laughs> but, <laughs> very but very late. Uh, yeah. Some were fifteen minutes late. Uh-huh. But for as as many people that were in there, I was really again surprised at how laid back and quiet the majority of the people inside were. There were a few shouters and screamers, mm-hmm. but for the most part, I, it was kind of low key. I, I think that's just probably the inner eyes. Yeah, that's uh, what I was. That's what yeah. I was saying. And Johnny coming down, I'm like what yeah. in the world? Yeah, and <laughs> um, I like all the the main actors. I thought did did well. I enjoyed all of them in terms of like for what they wanted to do. Yeah, Topeka obviously is <laughs> absolutely drop dead gorgeous. Yeah, one of the most gorgeous people on the planet. Yep, uh, and they they outfitted her in oh, that, yeah in costuming. That, <laughs> even if it was cold somewhere, oh. she was wearing a Bond girl and, outfit. And for somebody who's a spy or a kind of uh, you know 
uh, the kind of agent person, without not giving you any spoilers, that's why I'm using multiple terms, she clearly is not concealing her identity. No. Ever. Uh, John uh, John Abraham, I thought, did well as a yes. villain. Uh, so did his makeup people on his abs. Yes. He didn't need it. I don't know why they did that. And I enjoyed his background uh, music, especially. Like, he had, like, a background yeah, theme. Yeah, his theme. I enjoyed that one. Uh, I thought a lot of the background music was real nice um in in the uh, in the film and so like before we get into obviously spoilers i think if you're a Shao Rukan fan you're gonna oh, probably, you're gonna it. you're gonna enjoy this film as long as you know well, what you're getting into as long as you know you're getting mcdonald's meal yeah don't expect a film don't don't just no. go in expecting don't expect a fun my time con. and it, it actually helps if i knew going in no spoilers but if i knew going in hey be be prepared for the second half to lose its charm and its humor. Mm -hmm. That would have that would have helped because the lack of it is pretty stark compared to the first half being so charming. Mm -hmm. That that was one of my favorite things. Walk away was from man, the first half had a lot more humor in it than I thought. Yeah, had a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, didn't take itself so seriously. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, I mean, even like there's moments that like something happens and they kind of almost turn to the audience tongue in cheek. Is like, oh, yeah, that just happened. Yeah, th there's a lot of <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge to the audience. Uh, um, and turn like old references yeah, to old yeah, films, yeah. which is amazing. Uh, loved that. And there is, well, there's several things I want to discuss, but they're spoilers. But yeah, so I think if you know that you're going to leave your brain at home and you're going to see Shah Rukh Khan in a big, beautiful, over the top, Topeka Patacon, really over the top yep. action film. Yep. Uh, if you don't enjoy those, don't go see the film. Yeah. Because you're not going to enjoy that. Yep. At all, at all, uh, <laughs> it'll, you'll be annoyed. Yeah, you'll be very annoyed at the the, the amount of over the topness that this film is. Yep. But if you can set your expectations correct, if you've seen War, set your expectations there. Yep. Uh, I think uh, that's probably a good barometer. Very good barometer for this film. Um, and uh, then let us know what you think of it. Uh, obviously, when you come back. But we're gonna get into some spoils here because there are some stuff that I'd like to talk yeah. about. So this is for everyone who's seen it at this point. So once you've seen it, mark the minutes and come on back. And we can talk about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. you want to talk? You said those. So there were a couple things. Well, the first one was as far as the straining the credulity. I love how in the first half, John Abraham has the power <laughs> to hold the cables that are connected to two helicopters. Oh, he's so strong. And pull them down. I and love Connect it. them to a, a van. Uh, but in the second half, he can't pull himself up from hanging over the wood. Uh, he's very tired. Uh, he Pothon must have been exhausted. His ass. Yeah, and I thought he had been disemboweled by John Abraham. I guess I was mistaken. You were mistaken. I, I I heard and saw Jumbu and this, but I guess it was just a it was just a flesh wound. It's just a flesh. Just wound. a flesh wound. Just a flesh wound. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So there's, there's obviously Boy. a bunch of stuff like that. Yeah, and uh, I loved I loved how everything was just available for everybody. There was oh, an yeah. extra pair of flight wings for SRK. Gotta, gotta do it. Topeka just happened to have some speed skates laying around. <laughs> uh. <laughs> She's a very good skater. Very good skater. Uh, also, boy, why, oh also, why wouldn't she have just left that at the bottom of the ocean? I don't know, because you gotta save that and bring it back because, you know, you don't want to give all the fish smallpox. <laughs> I don't know. I would have let the thing drop down to the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, literally, it was like under no, ice, it. and it yeah. was pretty deep Why down there. Why are we there. holding that? And I loved how when they got out of the water, it was not even like cold immersion. No blue lips. He didn't even need to change his clothes after that deep <laughs> dive into the Arctic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, some stuff, uh, in spoil once again, spoilers. I actually really enjoyed Salman Khan's that was uh, great. cameo. That was uh, great. It's, it, obviously, once again, this is spoilers. <laughs> he had pretty extended cameo, and in uh, the, uh, one of the post credit scenes, yeah, I thought their chemistry and their humor together, and obviously I, I knew that he had a cameo. Rick did. Not. Oh, you did? I, yeah, I did. Uh, I didn't know uh, because I know this is the spy universe. So the next one's gonna have Rithik. Yeah. Tiger. And, I, and I know it is the spy universe yeah. for sure. Uh, and I know they mentioned Rithik's character. He never showed right. up, but he they mentioned yeah. his character multiple times. Um, in yeah, it. it but I really enjoyed Salman Khan's uh, like the fight scenes with them. Yeah. And then their dialogue was very very funny. funny. Uh, Especially. At all times, but especially at the end. Yeah, the, when when they're talking about thirty doing years this for thirty years, maybe we should stop. Oh, look, help me get up on my back. Uh, uh, but who's going to take over? How about that guy? Uh, what, that man, guy, that no, guy no, can't do it. What about the other guy? No, man, not that. Guy. He's not. He doesn't have enough style, man. Are you kidding me? He doesn't have uh, my. The thing I loved about that above all is I loved. It, it's been pretty stereotypical in the history of Hindi cinema that if you're a star, you don't share screen time with the other stars. Yeah. 
I love that Salman Khan was willing to share screen time with SRK in SRK's film. Yeah. That that was a really gracious thing to do and very wonderful to see that change where now big name stars can come together and do what they've done with you know the Marvel universe and other things here. Yeah, I think they've been friends for a long time. Sure they I, have. And then they've oh, done yeah. mo multiple films together. Yeah. Um, and so this is just a, another thing, and I think obviously YRF probably compensated them quite well. <laughs> quite well, because <laughs> I basically said, uh, "Show Khan, you're going to be in the next Tiger film, right? Yeah. That comes out this year." Yep, yep, yep. I'm definitely going to be in I'll that do one. That. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there will be re reciprocity. But I, there. I actually really enjoyed his cameo. I was uh, I did too. Uh, the, the fight scene was fun. Their dialogue the entire time was very funny. I like that he stopped and, at the coffee shop. And though I didn't get the reference. I still liked k k k k k k money. Karen. K k k k I love you. K k k k I died. That was a great moment. Oh, I died. Uh, obviously, the the Dar line that that he basically just said verbatim uh, to one of the characters uh, was a, was a lot of fun. Basically, everything in this film had like you like knew they were gonna figure out all oh, the plot points, but. Yeah. Like, once again, they did all that basically tongue-in-cheek. Yeah. It's like, Shah Rukh Khan was basically saying all this. He's like, oh, we could open it. Blah, blah, blah. It right. Like, it was all like, I, I know this is all cheesy and dumb, and and it, he's going to do what he needs to do. Yes. It's, I'm making an action movie. I'm going to do everything I've ever wanted to do in an action movie. And that's all this is. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and... You do that all the time. I do. And you call me old. No, it's ADD. Yeah. Um, what were we talking about? What were we talking about? Uh, this small film we just saw called Patan. What? Yeah. Salman Khan. Was he there? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yep. Rithik was there, too. Did you see him? Did he? Yeah. Oh, wow. oh you missed that? No, I didn't. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Pankaj was there, too. Was he? He was. He played the role of Dapika. Amazing transformation. Yeah. The I, guy is a shapeshifter. I thought it got way in the in the last fourth i think maybe a little more than the fourth after basically the cameo of salman khan because th that was yeah that was in the second half that but, was in the second half but um, i agree after the cameo it went it, it kind south of, pretty fast for yeah me. and because it started like doing so much it got way ahead of like Okay, now there's, now there's jetpacks, now there's small pops, now yeah. there's, they're in an orb, but then they, now they're yes. skating, and now... Yes. Uh, and, obviously, and we're on a train, and now we're on the ice, and now yeah. we're in the air, and, and now we're on a helicopter. And obviously the logic isn't really what, uh, what it was. I was really upset with at all, because I, I was like, okay, of course they're going to drive uh, motorcycles on snow. Of course, with just perfectly. normal tires, yes. Yeah, it's of course they're doing Everybody that. Everybody does uh, that. Of course Topeka comes out, which... Was was fun that she just came out on skates, yeah. keeping up with uh, people on motorcycles. And, and, and Jim can't do one pull up. <laughs> Jim can't do one pull up. Jim can't do one pull up. Strong guy. He's got four arms that can cable pull two helicopters, but he can't do a pull up. Yeah. Um, and so I think that for me, and I guess obviously for Rick as well, is probably. I just I, I wish it would have kept that that heart and that that humor and that that yeah. charm of the first half. Yeah. And I know you have to get to a big climax in the film, but um, it just kind of lost me and for what it was. Yeah, agreed. Um, and maybe obviously it was just that part was like there's like the fans now want big action and that's how yeah, but they had do it. There and, was big action in the front end, but I felt like the action was in line with the story and had some humor. And so it was forgivable. It, mm. it was it was it was silly. It's like okay, no one can do that, but this is so fun. It lost its fun factor for me, mm. and I felt I felt some of the maudlin kind of manipulation thing of there's kids on this plane, and then they show a kid on the plane. <laughs> we know there's a kid on the plane. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. Um, but yeah, it it that's that's where it lost me as well. Yeah. Um, but I don't. Like I said, I overall I think I, I enjoyed myself, and um, there was one other thing I wanted to mention before uh, I end it. The tap dance sequence by Nawazuddin and Siddiqui. Oh, that was great! Amazing. Was yep, on the snow. <laughs> I've never seen anybody tap dance on snow, but Nawaz, he can do anything. Yes, he can. Um, no, there was something else I wanted to mention. Um, the mermaid number that was led by Radhika Apte. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no, the um <laughs> You'd watch that though. Oh well, I, I oh, a yeah. thousand percent would. Heck yeah. Um 
I can't remember what I was going to say. It was a, a critique I had. Um, Mamoudi's submarine. That sequence. Where he and Mahanlal are doing that tango underwater. Um, you know how... how Oh, no, this is what That I, woman what looks I, like Bill Gates. <laughs> she does look like Bill Gates. No, this is what I actually... This is actually what I wanted to say. The, um... <laughs> my word. <laughs> Are you done? Yeah. Yeah. The, uh... Some of the... Obviously, and I think I, I saw it in the, uh... In the trailer. So, like, the CGI wasn't the best at all times oh no no um you could like especially like they went all in on helicopters and they didn't know how to put in a a helicopter the very ending sequence with the thing sliding off in the wood just it was so obviously yeah not real uh you can obviously i think they were just trying to make it as big as possible yeah uh and it's so interesting because films that like rrr have such um Maybe it's just because the spy story is so played out that the spy yeah, films break, are, breaking into the safe and needing to get yeah, the extra codes. Yeah, spy films and, are so played out, and yeah. R obviously is such an original story. And, yeah, and the the VFX works so well in that film, and um, maybe it's just it's, uh, the South Indian films maybe can do mass a little better sometimes than well than, if you're comparing this to rrr that's a very yeah no i'm big, not com- full-throated yes <laughs> um god because obviously that's ss version it's hard to compare anybody to ss version no. uh and what he can do with big mass entertainment absolutely um but this one had definitely a bollywood feel yeah as opposed this to like a big time um if the, anybody in america has not seen an indian film and they know bollywood and they see this it's going to be what they expect Except not as many songs. True. Yeah. There are not as many songs. Yeah. There's only two songs. Yeah, which is unfortunate, actually. I would've, yeah. I, would've I thought I'd used a third song. Maybe in the second half, that yeah. would have helped it uh, keep it together. With Salman Khan <laughs> on the train. It's probably going to be in Tiger. Maybe. Uh, anyways, let us know what you thought of Pathan and uh, what you thought, why we're idiots, why you loved it, why you hated it, uh, why you are just indifferent to it, why you didn't see it, and why are you watching the review if you didn't see it. Yeah. That's weird. That's very weird. <laughs> Let us know what you thought about it down below.